The lactate energy system provides a fast source of ATP for muscular contraction that lasts for up to two minutes. This process is known as anaerobic glycolysis. Stored glycogen is converted into glucose, which is then oxidized into two molecules of pyruvic acid. This reaction also produces two molecules of ATP, which provides energy for muscular contraction. As the intensity levels of short duration exercise are generally high, this energy system is heavily utilized by fast twitch muscle fibers, particularly type 2A or endurance fast twitch fibers. The metabolic byproducts that build up during the use of the lactate system include lactic acid and hydrogen ions. Lactic acid is re-metabolized by non-working muscles and at the liver. Hydrogen ions are buffered out chemically by bicarbonate ions in the blood. The major limiter to performance in the lactate energy system is the inability to buffer high levels of hydrogen ions, leading to increased blood acidity. Simply put, ADP is being produced faster than ATP can be produced. If ADP production far outstrips ATP production, the muscle will not be able to contract. When someone trains this energy system, there are great improvements in buffering hydrogen ions and ATP production being able to keep up with ADP production. Training this energy system involves bursts of effort lasting between 15 seconds and up to two minutes. So it's often termed lactate tolerance training. In the gym, the lactate energy system is used during high intensity efforts that last longer than eight seconds and less than two minutes. Common strength training programs normally have between eight and 12 repetitions per set. If the movement speed is two seconds up and two seconds down, 12 repetitions will take about 48 seconds. So each set will heavily utilize the lactate system. During cardio training, maximal efforts like 200 meters rowing or 400 meters running involve the lactate system for energy production, provided the effort level is maximal. A common theme in training for fat loss is to utilize the lactate system by performing a multitude of short maximal efforts, such as 30 second sprint with a 30 second walk. This maximizes calorie burning and elevates the metabolism by integrating anaerobic energy production during the hard effort with the aerobic energy production during the recovery.